Hey everybody, this is Perch, and I'm um, talking about the, the Hulk. So right now we have a new Hulk series. It just debuted here in the last uh, week from Donny Cates, who's probably the, uh, he is the writer, the go-to writer right now uh, at Marvel, uh, who is, is pretty much billed as having a guaranteed hit. Uh, I think his comics are, are selling well. He tends to, he, he's, he's the, he's the man of the hour, so to speak. Um, it, it's always curious what, what happens, you know, wh where does it go from here? Which is a, probably a whole other video. Like, you know, different people have been kind of the guy. Jason Aaron was probably the guy briefly, uh, at Marvel. Uh, Bendis, of course, further back, you had, uh, you've had different people, Matt Fraction. It's interesting to think back on the names of people who were, um, who were, who were the person, the, the, the writer. Um, and kind of what, what happens? Can you follow their career arc and see where it goes? But at any rate, Donny Cates' career arc is quite high right now. And uh, this new Hulk comic comes out um, and, you know, it, it, it looks pretty, but it promises a bold new uh, status quo. And it, it, this is the part where <laughs> I read the comic. It's, it's fine. Um, uh, Ryan Otley uh, looks great on art. Um, it, nothing, nothing wrong with it. It's it, well, it, it, there was something wrong with it. And that's kind of what I'm going to get to. But so before I do that though, let me kind of back up a second. If we look at the Hulk, uh, right now, since about 2008, and if we go further back and it, it gets even sillier, but since, since 2008, um, things that happened, we had civil war that was going on and the Hulk had been pushed off planet. The Illuminati had sent him off to another planet and that, actually led to probably one of the best loved uh, storylines in the Hulk that has uh, that that kind of has has existed for the last 20 years and that was the uh, the, the the Hulk with uh, Greg Pak and and World War Hulk and everything else uh, that went on there uh, this was the planet Hulk storyline it uh, was the Hulk is a gladiator on a whole other world felt like a, a very kind of different story although in many ways it, it also reminded me of a lot of comics Marvel used to tell in the 70s but um, the the Hulk uh, basically went out uh, liberated a planet I, you know what? I'm, I'm describing it very poorly. If you haven't seen World War Hulk, you should go check it out. But at the end of World War Hulk, he uh, basically gets an alien ship and he heads back to Earth, pissed uh, at the Illuminati, the people who exiled him and vowed to get revenge. He crashes into Civil War. A little fun fact here. Um, originally, uh, Mark Miller had in his pitch the Hulk coming back in Civil War. It was the Hulk coming back that was going to kind of turn the table, reunite uh, Captain America and Iron Man for the to fight the the, you know, the the, the threat together. That was how that series was going to end. But, you know, Tom Brevoort uh, had decided that that was too much in one event. And, and why do uh, one event when you could do two? So World War Hulk was formed after that, which did bring the Hulk then back to uh, back into the uh, into Earth. And he immediately takes over Madison Square Garden and uh, just just, you know, it causes complete chaos everywhere. Um, and eventually, of course, the heroes, uh, there, there's a double cross in the Hulk's team and everything else. And, uh, the Hulk is, uh, is left in his Bruce Banner form. He's kidnapped by shield and, uh, down he goes. What would follow for the next five years or so was the red Hulk, uh, which is, uh, Thaddeus Ross. And then the Hulk uh, getting free and Scar coming to the planet to kill his father, but then being disgusted because his intelligence was low. And then uh, a whole, uh, just the Hulks everywhere. We had the Hulk family. Uh, we had uh, just just uh, a whole bunch of uh, storylines here where a number of Hulks were running around. Uh, Modoc was there, the leader. We, we just, just, just a bunch, a bunch of things. Um, and then that ends with uh, the Hulk getting a, a, a lot of a lot of things happen. But toward the end of that, the Hulk gets a hammer as part of fear itself. Um, he gets consumed by it, goes rampaging around as null and, uh, you know, just destroys all kinds of things and says he wants to be left alone and wants to separate himself from Banner. And here's where we get to uh, kind of what's relevant for today. So in 2014, uh, Jason Aaron, along with Mark Silvestri, and that was a big deal at the time, Silvestri coming back to an ongoing title, of course, he wouldn't be on it for long. Um, he, he basically revealed that the Hulk had split himself completely from Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner uh, immediately then went 
crazy and became the threat. And the pitch of the comic was Banner is going to be the threat, not the Hulk. And Banner was like an island of Dr. Moreau making kind of crazy uh, gamma clones and, and, and villains and, and, and all the rest. Um, and would, uh, and, and so it, it, the, the title didn't go on very long, but you know, people ran amok. Uh, Banner was the, you know, kind of, again, the villain, uh, although that, um, uh, came to a, they came back to a unity at the end. And this then flipped the title over to Mark Wade, who, uh, basically ran the new storyline where Banner would go to shield and uh, say that uh, he'll he'll allow you know he'll basically work for Shield and they'll use they'll control the Hulk to do Shield things. Uh, the Hulk then proceeds to get or not the Hulk but Bruce Banner proceeds to get shot, and then he's a vegetable, and then the Hulk is uh, they, that 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 creates a, a new problem where you know the Banner is dumber than the Hulk because he's a vegetable. But eventually they get that fixed out. Uh, the Hulk tries to depower everyone, and. Um, <laughs> All of these, all of these basic pieces. Uh, the Hulk gets gets resurrected by the hand during this period of time, um, and, and then uh, anyway, this leads us to that Al Ewing Joe Bennett series that just ended. So, um, after fifty odd issues of that, we've got this new series from Donny Cates, and the series from Donny Cates, the the pitch that we're getting is basically that uh, the Hulk is. Um, you know, the, the, the true threat or, or that in the, in the solicitations, it say, it says the Avengers have always fought against all, but this time the true threat is Banner. The challenge is the true threat has been Banner before less than 10 years ago. The true threat was Banner when he was a crazy person living on an Island and, and that whole series. And at some point you, you start to look at this and it feels like they're relaunching with a new gimmick every few years. But at the same time, it's not a new gimmick. It's kind of the same gimmick. In this case, you know, there's a bunch of lines they're saying, uh, Banner says, you know, I'm no longer uh, driven by rage. I'm fueled by it, um, which is fine. But he's, he's actually said that before. That exact line has been said before during some of these previous runs. Um, this, this, it's kind of a new idea. The new idea is that Banner set up a, you know, a mind uh, starship uh, you know, uh, that you, if you see, if you ever watched Sherlock, which this has all the feelings of somebody watched a Netflix show, uh, where they saw the, uh, this construct, they had it in Hannibal, they had it in, in Sherlock where you, you could kind of compartmentalize and organize your mind in order to do recall and other things. And that's where that's kind of the storyline we're going with here. Banner has, you know, basically imprisoned several aspects of the Hulk's personality so he could control him like a quote unquote starship Hulk where Banner is, is in the seat. Um, at some point you look at this and you go, aren't these all just kind of slight deviations on the same original structure that we've been going with for a while? Because it, it starts to feel that way. It starts to feel like this, this actually is kind of the, the same comic. And it, I reading the first issue of Donny Cates Hulk, I was reminded very much of, you know, some Mark Wade's run, some of Jason Aaron's run. It's got the same beats to it. Now I'm sure Donny Cates will take it in a new direction. He always does. And this is not a knock against him, but what strikes me is that the best Hulk stories we've had over the last, oh, I don't know, 20 years has been this uh, Immortal Hulk run that Ewing did, and then the World War Hulk, Planet Hulk, uh, sorry, the Planet Hulk run uh, that Greg Pak did. And in both cases, the comic didn't really go out to do a, a huge, bold new status quo. There were certainly new elements to it, but Planet Hulk was simply, you know, we're going to send Hulk into space and he's going to live on an alien world and run amok there, which it, it wasn't a, a radical change to him. There were certainly new things they were doing, but it, it told a long story and it dove into the actual beats of the story going on rather than a shocking new development. Like Banner's the clever, crazy one. Now Banner's a vegetable. Now Banner's working with S.H.I.E.L.D. and he's like a secret agent. And now Banner wants to be better than Tony. And now Banner is, is alone. And it, it just, it was less of, hey, here's a, here's a, um, a new hook on that relationship. It was just trying to tell a, a long story. Same thing to some extent with Al Ewing's run. Yes, there was a whole immortal Hulk and can Hulk die and, and kind of diving into the mythology of, of body horror and other elements, but it still was just a, 
it was a comic. It went 50 issues. Um, what struck me is, is in looking back in several of these, the relaunches and reboots, it's like every two years for the Hulk. And every time they relaunched it, especially when you go from Aaron's run to Wade's first run to Wade's second run, kind of one, two, three there, um, it's like a year and a half, two year gap each time. And the entire story was, it was like, Hey, here's a twist. Hey, here's another, we're relaunching with a new twist. Hey, we're relaunching with a new twist. And it's, it's, I, I do wonder, do, are the writers on board of this? Is, is it the writers are asked, Hey, just come up with the wackiest thing you can possibly do. And then we'll just screw it. We'll just run with it. Cause that's, that's kind of how it comes across. Um, and it doesn't feel like there's any kind of long lasting plan. It feels like there's an initial gimmick, a hook to get you to buy one issue, maybe a couple issues, and then it rapidly runs out of steam. Like, uh, like Banner working for shield that Wade did, or like Banner is vegetable, uh, that came right after that. Um, or frankly, like, like the Hulk is, you know, hanging out with the Molioids and, and, uh, Banner is a evil scientist living on an Island. These all feel like crazy pitches. Um, so it brings us to Donny Cates thing. I, it, it's up to him and hopefully he can do it where we get a comic that's more than just a wacky pitch of, Hey, I saw this thing on Hannibal and, um, wouldn't it be cool if the Hulk was that way? Let's write the Hulk that way. And, uh, we'll see what happens. Cause that's, that's, that's how this is coming. That, that, how that's, that's the feeling I got from the first issue. I didn't get a, Oh man, uh, this is a, this is a ride I want to be on. It was instead like, Hey, here's a gimmick somebody came up with. I wonder how long it will, act, it will last. Was my first thought, but uh, but anyway, I'm curious what you thought of this whole uh, this this new one, and and also kind of on a, from a bigger sense, I think there's a problem right now at Marvel in particular, where the comics are being treated this way. It's somebody gives a crazy uh, pitch. It's like a, a a concept pitch, and then a series gets gets thrown out there, but the pitch doesn't have any legs to it. It's got like a, a small hand, it's got like a trade paperback or an OGN of material. And then it's kind of just, there's no, there's no long-term plan. It's like, Hey, what if, uh, what if the Hulk had an Afro? Let's try that. Hey, what if the Hulk uh, had no legs, but instead had wheels and could transform into a car? Let's do that. That's how these things are starting to come across. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments below, like, and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.